it is a freeware tool. As of now, it is an open source tool, Selenium. Freeware tool. There is no cost added to this one. So we can directly download it from the Selenium site, official site is there, seleniumhq.org. You can download it. I will let you know while the concepts are running. Middle of that, we'll see how to download, how to install it, what are the settings we have to make. Everything will be uh, I mean, uh, explained as a part of this concept, Selenium. Before that, right? So yeah. as an automation tester, so the tester should have a basic knowledge of manual testing process. So what is testing first of all? So in just give me 10 minutes, I'll just brush up what is testing. So what is the difference between manual and automation? So in manual, how the manual is different from automation? Software testing, right? Or else it calls QA, quality assurance, right? So the term quality assurance itself is giving the meaning that so giving the assurance for the quality of the application. By testing the application, so we are going to give the assurance of the application quality. Right? So that is what about QA. Just take a high level. So if you want to elaborate it, the software testing is nothing but testing the functionalities of the application to check whether and I this. So the testing meaning itself is that whatever the see you are a developer, right? You know very well, you will develop the application. With the application in the application, development means functionalities implementation, right? So what are the functionalities you guys are implementing are implemented? So those functionalities are going to validate by the tester to make sure whether the functionality is behaving as per the expected behavior or not. Right? So that is nothing but testing of a software application. So how to test? So what is the process? That explain that entire process will be explained in the testing process. Here the testing process is We'll go over like this. Plan should be there. The test plan, right? There should be a test plan for that one. So just like as when to start the testing, when to end up the testing, right? How many tests are required to test this application, right? So what are the prerequisites with, uh, with respect to the software, with respect to the hardware, right? So what types right. of testings we have to perform, okay? So all these things. So plan will be prepared, and then test case design test case design in the sense means so the testers has how to uh, study the requirement document right you will get an FRS document functional requirement specification document you can say right you will also get it so by using that they should have to know what are the functionalities implemented in the application so what is the purpose of this application first of all and the functionalities so they have to list out the functionalities that they have to test so for the functionalities they have to write the test cases You know about what is the test case area because this is the key that is bug or defect we can say. So yeah. next I will just explain what is a test case also. Yeah. Test case execution. Okay. Then execution is validation. So once we listed all the functionalities on the test cases, so we'll go through each and every functionality and validate the functionality. Right? Whether they're working fine or bug reports. Right? Reporting the bugs to the developers while get I mean, uh, whenever we testers gets the issues with respect to the functionality while they are testing. So this is a high level process of testing. Right? So in this one the test case execution either it can be done manually using automation or automation. The difference is I mean, what is the difference you can say? Manual in the sense means whatever the functionality that we have to validate. So with respect to the functionality, we should have to perform some user operations. Right? We should have to do some actions on the application. Then only we'll come to know whether it is behaving as per expected or not. Right? So whatever the actions, whatever the user operations we have to do, if the user operations are performing manually by yourself. 
Suppose I have to check a login functionality. Let's simply. Right? Or else, just uh, I'm asking that, are you able to log into your Gmail account? So how can you confirm me that, okay, you are able to log in or not? What you will do, you will do some action. So what actions? You will uh, open a browser, right? We will enter the gmail.com URL, right? So you will enter your name in the username test box, you will enter the password in the password test box, you will click on sign in button. So these yeah. are nothing but user operations. When these user operations are performed, then only you can confirm me that whether you are able to log in or not. The same way while testing also, the same operations has to be performed by the tester. Right? If that operations are performing manually, the particular functionality is working or not, it's nothing but a manual testing. So automation testing is nothing but whatever the user operations that we are performing manually, we are going to create an automation script statements for that user operations of that functionality. Your tool, whatever it may be, QTP or Selenium, whatever they are existing. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. The script statements will run and performs the operations on the application automatically. So just simple example I will say. Right? Suppose if you see I want to add some this we can do it manually by yourself. Seven plus three plus two five. Fifty seven. So we got it by doing the operation manually. Right? The same output we can also get it using the calculator tool. Tool is a calculator tool is nothing but an automation tool. Here we can we can consider. Right? So where whatever the operation logic, right? We have performed to get the addition of these numbers. For that logic there is a script already created in this calculator tool. When we click on this plus button, that logic script will run and provides the results here. This is automated. Operations are automated. In the same way, the user operations with respect to the functionalities, we, we are going to automate using the automation tool, like Selenium. Okay? Right. So, why we need to go for the automation? So, what is the purpose of going for automation here? Let's start going for automation is reusability. But in testing, whatever the functionalities that we have already tested and working fine, for those functionalities, I mean, those functionalities, we have to test it repeatedly in different situations. So based on the situation, the same functionality, we have to test it twice, thrice, four times, or a number of times. Suppose if you see, uh, I have tested one functionality, it got failed, right? So I have reported to the developer. Developer give a fix to that issue after reported by the tester. So after giving the fix, right, I have to revalidate that functionality one more time, which is validated earlier and it got failed, right? But it's the same functionality I'm testing it, right? Second right. Time. Suppose if any enhancements are happened to the application, suppose new functionalities are added, or else uh, some existing functionalities are removed or existing functionalities are updated. So because of that, right, whatever the existing functionalities that are working fine may have a chance to get affected. So right. to make sure the existing code is broken or or working fine, right? Again we have to test the tested functionalities one more time. Right? So in different situations we are testing the same functionalities again and again. So instead of testing it manually, we can go with automation to reduce the time and reduce the manpower effort, right? So in any industry, right, or any uh, domain or area, so the main concerns they'll concentrate is when they'll concentrate on the time and the manpower factor. If they are able to reduce manpower and time, so that much profit they'll get. It. So the cost of uh, expense, whatever the cost they are going to spend, the cost will be decreased and they'll get more profits. Here also the automation. So this is overall about the testing process and basic difference between manual and automation. So if you want to go for the automation, so you should have the functionalities. The prerequisites are so you should know about the functionality first. So for what functionality you should have to automate, right? That functionality and the respective user operations. Okay, a simple example, uh, as we already discussed, login function. So this is a login functionality check. Right? This is a login check. So for this one, I'm writing the test case like this. Test case, as I said, that 
user operations. Log into it. So this is a functionality and it is a test case. Okay. So when we have this information, then we can create the scripts because we know what is the user operations. For this user operations, what we are expecting. So for all this, we are going to create a script. All right. Prehistory of the automation. Right. Mm -hmm. So before going to go for automation, we should know all these things. Right. So so here is silly name. Let's move to silly name here. Automation testing tool. Right? Is from ThoughtWorks people. Right? There's a company called ThoughtWorks. Exactly. So they have introduced yeah. this one. Right? And so Google is supporting in enhancements of Selenium features and as well as funding. So they are also doing some funding on the automation tool update. And it's not a single tool. And it's a set of components. It's not just like a single tool, like relational robot, relational clear case, relational clear case or PTT. Okay? Remember that. It's a set of components. Right? Selenium is not a single set of components. And the main uh, advantage is that we can do because Selenium is so uh, comparable with all the operating systems and all the processes. Right? So we can test our application in any of the browser and in any of the operating systems. And languages. Like Java, C sharp, Python, Ruby, PHP, etc. Right? So where yeah. suppose see uh, I am very much comfortable writing the scripts in Java, right? I can use Java code. The Java syntax, Java methods, functions, everything, class, what are practices. So if I am writing very much interested in PHP then I can do it. Somebody is very comfortable to write in the HTML. So they can mm -hmm. also do it. So different languages will be supported by the Selenium where you and Java is the one where we'll see here. Okay. So uh, let's say uh, uh, these are the main advantages. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And disadvantage is so it will I mean we can test only web based applications using Selenium. Right? Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But if you take the rational IBM tools or QTP, so we can also test the window based applications, that is standalone applications. Right? So, mm -hmm. but in the Selenium we can only test. Here I said that it is a set of components. Right? So, the components are Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium Vector. Right? So these are the things. Right? In the RC, right? On the web driver, we have different uh, inbuilt frameworks. JUnit and TestNG, we'll anywhere discuss that one. Selenium IDE, just basic record and playback. Right? In Firefox version, it's a server, right? And hence the
if you do the logic script statements like for loop, if loop, any logic if you want to add any logic code that it cannot be performed on the Selenium ID. So we can use uh, in the RC we can do that. So where it will use it is also a server. Okay. We can run the scripts using multiple browsers. Okay. Yes. Right. Now this is the direction. See, let's see here. Uh, right. This is the Selenium ID look and feel. Okay. Yeah. So this is the Selenium ID. Right. We can have a record and playback. We are going to discuss all these things. Right. Just for a sample, I'll show you. So just I'm taking this. So I'm performing the user operations. Right. Whatever the user operations is performing, the respective script statement of that user operations will be automatically generated in the Selenium ID. Selenium, right, click on and this one, right, this is the official site, Selenium HQ Talk, and downloads, right, where we can have download all the respective jar files of the Selenium respective tools, okay, right, right, so what is this, script? how it is generated, we'll discuss it in detail. Now, when I click on this run button, so here I have performed the operations manually to generate the script. So I can save this script. So if I want to test this functionality again, so I will open this script and click on run button. I click on machine. So I just that's this is indirection part whatever we discussed. So reduces the man for about all these things we discussed here. So different types of automation tools as you said the quick test professional, rational, functional yeah. tester. So these are all different tools. Right? So what is Selenium? Right? So futures. So suppose cross browser testing. That allows scripting in all the server languages, inbuilt reporting mechanism, right? That I didn't mention it, where it can only generate the reports, right? So no need to generate the reports manually. When you run particular test cases in the Selenium, automation test cases, it will automatically generate the report. And then these are the Selenium components. So this is what our Selenium ID, which it speaks about how to install it so that uh, ppt is also there you know? this is a selenium id the text ID. and then right so okay. start the server uh, rc stop the server execute the commands in different browsers okay installing rc right so how selenium will work exactly we are creating right browser web application mm -hmm. servers HTTP proxy, launcher, driving process. Okay, so we'll all this explains as a part of this one. That's also here it is there. So this is the Eclipse. Then I don't need to explain this one. Right. So anyway, you'll see all this one. So what is the libraries? How to? Yeah, you know how to create the class package. Everything in the Selenium. Mm -hmm.